Coverage on the severe weather that swept through South Florida. It continues this morning. A semi truck flipped onto its side by some of those very strong winds. And this morning, the focus is on how to clean up that entire mess that you see right behind us. Yeah, look at the news reporter Erica Rako joining us live this morning from Northwest Miami Dade. Erica, what's the latest update there? Well, this storm was quick. It only lasted maybe a max of 20 minutes, but what damage it left behind. Right now, we're on Northwest 74th Avenue at Northwest 50th Street. You're looking at a semi truck that was toppled over. This is one of just many cargo containers actually nearby that were also taken up with the wind and blown over. Not what you expect on a Monday morning. Yeah, no, that's for sure. In northwest Miami-Dade, strong winds leaving behind tons of damage overnight. You know, to see a size, a size, a, you know the size of that container to go over that fence, because they didn't destroy the fence, it must have gone over the fence and then landed there. And the wind so strong, it picked up the parked tractor trailer and tossed it onto its side. The winds blew through the inside of this aviation company that sits right next to it, causing even more damage. Coming here to go to work and there's damage in the building and this is what we have, so can't go inside right now. And across the street, more trucks turned over, trees snapped in half and strewn across the parking lot. Oh, I'm in shock. We're all here to get to work and can't work today. And so this is an area with a lot of warehouses and executive offices, uh, an industrial area, you can call it. This is that um, building that houses the aviation company. We spoke with the employees. You just heard from there. You can see the wind took the siding off the building as well. And police still have this taped off because there are downed power lines. They are still waiting for power crews to come out here and repair that. For now, these companies are just waiting on insurance, uh, insurance adjusters to figure out what to do next. We're live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Erica Rake. Local 10 News.